G'day Blay Dickheads, Vaping Bogan, back again for another Dinky Die review. Hope you're all feeling top bloody notch. Gonna have a squeeze at a new RDA from the opposite end of the spectrum we saw last time. Not for clouds, this one is for flavour. It's called the Mongrel and it's a collaboration between Juice Jack from Vaping Insider, a fellow reviewer, and Damn Vape have done the manufacturing. It's a single coil RDA and it is, as I say, designed for flavour. It also comes with a glass top cap as well as this uh, black one you see here. I've got it sitting atop probably my favorite mechanical mod at the moment and that is the sword fish from rock vape over in Russia capping off this bit of matchy match action with a drip tip from Nick's tips so they say it's a flavor orientated RDA and they have done the right thing and got the airflow coming from underneath the coil it comes in from the side but it does a little and it comes up underneath your coil. It's also got some little inserts in there so you can change up how the airflow interacts underneath said coil. But let's take it for a little rip -a -roo. I've got an alien in here from For British Eyes Only coming in about 0.2 ohms. Let's uh, have a go. I gotta say, the flavor is pretty fucking good on this. Very, very tasty. And I like the fact that you've got uh, two different top caps. The glass top cap does give it a slightly different taste if anybody's had a, a glass top cap on an RDA. It doesn't just change the looks of it and blah, 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 but it does actually change the flavor, I think, vaping off of glass. But we'll get to more of that a little bit later. Let's get into, as always, a fucking brewski. Today's beer was gifted to me by one of my patrons, Mr. Kevin Karekas. Hopefully I'm saying that right, mate. All the way from the United States. It's called Broken Heels. It's a hazy IPA from a new trail brewing co over in Willport, Pennsylvania. Williamsport, Pennsylvania, should I say. It's a 7% high aromatics, soft bitterness India pale ale, or a hazy India pale ale to be exact. Citra, mosaic, and Ukonot hops, I believe, are used in here. Let's just see how she fucking tastes. Let's drink a beer. Let's drink it. go dickheads hazy fucking goodness smells pretty bloody good too fruity and uh, i have had this one before the top cunt that is kevin sent four of these bastards so i've enjoyed three so far i'm sharing the last one with you fucking cheers it's a fucking nice hazy i'll have to say that very fruity. I've enjoyed these, as I said, three of them, and uh, each one has been bloody delicious. Really nice and thick on the mouthfeel. Loads of citrus flavors. There's a good whack of sort of grapefruity kind of uh, feels in there, as well as a sort of stone fruit vibe uh, coming out of there as well. Feels strong, feels like a, a rich beer, but it doesn't feel boozy for something that is 7%. Going down a fucking treat on the warmer days over here, Kevin. Thank you very much. I'm sure you're freezing your bloody tits off over in uh, <laughs> Northern America. But let's pair this fucker up with a liquid. As I do quite often with an IPA, I'm gonna pair it with a bit of Kurong Cola from my Bogan Brews line. It is, as you fucking guessed, a cola flavor, somewhere between a hard candy and sort of a traditional cola drink. Let's uh, see how this goes, dickheads. Another winner, another fucking winner for the Kurong Cola. Goes really well with the citrus elements of IPAs. Lots of limey vibes come out of cola and they go very, very nicely with the, uh, the sort of sharper notes out of an IPA. Also bringing out a little bit more of the sort of stone fruit flavors, I reckon, from this beer. I think the caramel element that's in cola does go very well with those sort of lower, uh, sort of more malt flavors in a, uh, an IPA. It just always seems to work fucking grouse with any India pale ale. Anyway, enough waffling over the hops and the fucking liquid. Let's get down in the up and bloody close. We're gonna have a good squiz at the mongrel, check out the build that I've got in here, and then we'll talk the pros, cons, prices, and tell you just how bloody flavorsome this flavor orientated RDA is. All fucking righty dickhead. So this is the packaging your mongrel will come in. Well, of course you will find the RDA itself, a glass top cap, two airflow inserts, a bag of spare O-rings, grub screws, a non-squonk pin and a couple of tools, some cotton and a coil, a little note from Mr. Jack talking about the intentions and design of the RDA and a user manual. But let's dive on in. So 
Well, this is the stainless steel version. I believe it comes in black and stainless. There may be other colors out now, but uh, I've got these two. It does have a little uh, logo on the side here. It does look like a bit of a maybe mongrel dog kind of thing going on there. And then we move it around. We've got the airflow on one side and it's pretty clean. Otherwise, I do like this, uh, just a simple little bit of artwork and then the rest nice and fucking minimal. So it's a 25 millimeter diameter on this one and it does have that sort of vase kind of shape or dome shape top to it and then a vase drip tip up here which is kind of in line with uh, something that is designed for flavor. It is an 810 size tip, nice sort of uh, bore on it but uh, you can pop your own drip tips in there if you like. It does have the O-ring inside there. So my custom drip tips have all fit on here without any trouble at all. You then have the airflow on the side here and the way that that is adjusted is from the sort of the deck uh, and then the top cap rotating around it. So uh, no two piece system with this one, just the, the single top cap, which is nice. On the bottom here, you've got the usual branding. You've got mongrel, a serial number, uh, Deuces Jack, and damn vape, and uh, that's about it. Now they have installed the squonk pin rather than the standard non-squonk pin. So it does lead me to believe that they're kind of intending this to be more of a squonking RDA than maybe a, a dripper, but I don't use a lot of squonks, it's not really my thing, uh, so I've been using it more as a dripper, but I can see how it will work quite well as a squonking RDA, maybe similar to something uh, like the, I've completely fucking forgotten, but you know the one that Suck My Mod did a little while ago, the, someone will tell me in the comments, but yeah, it's got a similar sort of uh, airflow system to that. So, let's pull the top cap off and have a look at that deck. We'll chuck it onto my little uh, vape addy stand here from Bearded Viking Customs all the way over in South Africa. If you want to get his stuff, go check him out on Instagram. He's a top cunt and he makes these top addy fucking stands as well as bulletproof tank sections for your atomizers. So nice tolerances, I will say that. Once you've got something to pull it off with, really, really nice tolerance there on those O-rings. Good machining throughout from Damvate. You've got a sort of uh, step down conical kind of shape there on that top cap. And as I said, the way that the airflow is adjusted is by closing off the uh, the top cap. You just swivel it around. It does spin all the way around. There's no locking mechanism, and I'll show you why in a moment. Well, you can probably guess. We've got the glass section uh, or top cap, which obviously wouldn't allow for a, uh, a, a fucking locking mechanism. So that just slides straight on over. You've got a similar sort of thing going on. One nice thing about the way they've designed this is it allows you to run a glass top cap and still have airflow control. Whereas we've seen glass caps on other devices, but usually if they're side airflow, you can't really have any adjustment. You're kind of stuck with the one size on the cutout. And they've done a pretty good job here. They've cut it the same way as they have on the, uh, the stainless steel cap. It kind of cuts in a little bit, I guess, to try and smooth the airflow maybe as it's going through. I do feel like the glass cap is just maybe a fraction tighter on the whole. Um, I think it's just a little, little bit smaller. You can probably see it there, a little tiny bit smaller than the uh, stainless steel cap. So you will find that as, if you have it wide open, it will be a fraction tighter than uh, with the stainless steel cap. But let's have a look at this deck here. Quite an interesting sort of design going on. First thing to talk about would be the four terminal posts. It is a single coil, as I mentioned before. Good thing about having a four terminal system is it means it doesn't matter whether your coil has been wrapped clockwise or anti-clockwise, you're going to be able to uh, to put your coil in there and have it pointing upwards, or if you wanted to, have it pointing downwards. It's really nice to see that they've thought about that and done a four terminal system. And then you have that undercoil airflow, and the way that that's working is very, very simple. The air is coming in through here, okay, and then it's going to come out on the side there uh, of the of the inside and go upwards. They've kind of cut the uh, the whole thing so that it points upwards, but you do have these inserts which will direct the airflow because they have these little fins on the side here, and so you slide those in and the fins basically keep the air coming more central, like a, a an undercoil kind of tube almost. Imagine your coil's going through here, your wick's going down the side there. So these little fins here are gonna direct that air sort of straight up underneath your coil. So you've got side airflow, uh, but being directed straight upwards. And obviously with the sort of drain pipe, great thing they've got going on here, it's gonna smooth that airflow out uh, a little bit. You do obviously have that other option, which again directs the, the airflow upwards, 
but you have a much more open wide bore uh, airflow slit. So quite uh, simple. I've now remembered what that RDA was that uh, Matt had designed, which was the Hermetic. It's kind of like that because the air is coming in through the sides and then there is uh, sort of a, an area where juice can uh, land on the uh, the airflow ducts as such. But as you inhale, it kind of sucks any liquid that's fallen down those little slots on either side and they hit that wall in the middle and it kind of stops it from, uh, from going out the airflow. So uh, quite a, a simple but uh, clever design. A little bit, as I said, like the Hermetic, which I think uh, Jack says in his little uh, write-up that he's taken his favorite elements of other RDAs and kind of applied it to his own design in a new way. One thing I will say is if you do over drip, uh, you probably want to inhale shortly after without say firing your coils to just suck any of that liquid back in towards the, uh, the, the deck here and get it to hit that coil because I have had it leak on me when I've over dripped and then tilted the RDA to one side. So just be aware of that, it still can leak. But that really is about it for this one, guys. Let's have a look at the coil that I've been using. So we've got a four core alien here from For British Eyes Only. Top cunt is Ryan. And uh, what we've got here is four strands of 26 gauge. I think it's all nichrome, yep, all N80. Wrapped in 36 gauge, uh, five wraps, three millimeter inner diameter. And uh, my single coil came in at about 0.2. So a dual coil will come in at 0.1. And as you can see, very, very nice tight alien wraps there. Perfect resistance, I think, for a single coil. A 0 0.15, 0 0.2 is really good for uh, your single coil builds. From my experiences, it's similar to what I've used on things like the Barrage, and uh, it vapes great. And being quite thick, given it's a four core uh, alien it does take up the space in there quite nicely meaning that airflow is getting right around the sides of it really close and getting some really really good flavor and you can see your wicks just tuck down on into the side so uh, really really happy with the performance off of this coil as I said it's similar to what I've used in other single coil RDAs and this has some of the best flavor I've had from a single coil so that's what the black one looks like it does have a little bit of a sort of polished shine to it it's not a, a matte black a little bit of a, a shiny finish but very very nicely matched with the swordfish mechanical mod from Rock Vape. I do like how on the black one it is a black deck because with the glass cap on there it does look quite cool with that black deck and the mongrel engraving laser etching on the side there. Obviously once you start to get a bit of uh, vapor going you can get a bit of condensation on here but it still looks pretty fucking cool. A little bit scientific, almost beaker-like. But there it is, the Mongrel RDA. Let's jump back up top, talk pros, cons, prices, and all the other fucking hoo-ha. There you go, the fucking Mongrel. Not a bad looking little doggo. <laughs> I've now got the glass cap atop it and uh, I think I, I like it. I've always liked a bit of a glass cap on a few RDAs. This one uh, does suit nicely with that black deck. I, I think that does look pretty fucking good. But let's talk about the pros and cons. What do I like? What do I think is a bit poo? We've got to talk about the flavor because that is what this is designed to be, a flavor chasing RDA. And I would say it is a very, very tasty fucking uh, apparatus. Very on par with things like the uh, Hermetic, which I talked about earlier. Uh, the Barrage, another great single coil RDA we had. Great flavor, I think, for those that want to bait a medium to higher wattage single coil. It's not like your small, very condensed, tiny little uh, single coilers, but more of those sort of 40, 50, 60, and then maybe even up to your 80, 90 watt uh, kind of vapes. It's got a fairly large space in there to put a decent sized coil in, and it has got fairly adequate airflow. So if you're a medium to higher wattage vapor, but you want to go single coil, uh, this has got some fantastic fucking flavor. I like the way they've designed the deck. I think the little insert system there is great. You can have wide open airflow, or you can have a, a sort of more restricted uh, grate system, which I think is a little bit smoother. So I like what they've done there, but also the four terminal system allows you to put in coils regardless of how they have been wrapped clockwise, anti-clockwise. So it's been well thought out in terms of the squonking mechanism. Works very, very well. I haven't been using it much as a squonk myself but that's just because I don't like really squonking that much but I think it really will perform well as a squonker because it delivers the liquid sort of directly to the ends of your cotton uh, through the bottom there it goes straight to the sort of juice well dripping it through the top still works fine but I think as a squonker it is a little bit more direct in terms of getting it straight to your wicks love the fact they've included two different top caps the glass and the uh, the stainless steel now glass I think does have just a slightly different flavor to it than uh, your metal top 
caps. Don't know whether it's necessarily better, but it's certainly different. I think I notice certain flavor notes a little more with a glass cap than I do in a metal cap. Maybe a little sharper, a little crisper. It's hard to sort of describe, but it's nice that you've got the two options there, as well as being one of the only glass cap RDAs that actually has some adjustable airflow. Uh, it may have been done a while ago, but most of your glass caps that go onto a, a side airflow RDA don't really allow you to adjust the airflow, uh, simply because they come down and the airflow holes just go straight to the coil. But the fact that they're using uh, the sort of deck as the uh, airflow control ring allows the glass cap to still have control over that airflow, so you can cut cut it down uh, if you want to. So a clever design on that glass cap and it fits nicely as well. Build quality is uh, definitely important when it comes to a glass cap. I've had others before where they're too tight and they fucking crack the glass. This hasn't given me any issues. The tolerances all seem really good, both with the glass and with the metal cap. And overall, the machining I think has been done pretty well uh, from Dan Vay. So build quality, I'll give it a thumbs up. It's got a decent amount of airflow as well. You can obviously close it down as I've mentioned, but if you do like something, as I said, that can go up to a higher wattage than some of the other single coil RDAs. This has got the airflow to back it up. But what have I got to complain about? Not a whole lot. Not really anything as a, a deal breaker or anything that they've fucked up. I think it's just a, a few things that are kind of uh, factors with this style of RDA. It doesn't have a locking ring because obviously you've got the glass cap there. So when you go to get it on and off stuff, it can get a little stuck sometimes. It's not too bad because it does have that lip at the bottom. If you push down and twist uh, more than often, you can kind of get it to come off. There we go, eventually it does come away. Something just to mention, due to the fact that you've got a glass cap, you can't really do a locking mechanism. As I did mention, it will leak if you over drip it and don't take a little uh, drag afterwards. Now, if you're using it as a squonker, probably unlikely to have a problem because it's feeding straight into the juice wells. But if you drip through the top like I have been, you can find that it cascades down and gets into the airflow a little bit. It's not too much of an issue. After I do a big sort of drip in there, I do a little Little, little pull just to make sure I didn't get any liquid into those holes. If you vaped a Kennedy RDA, you'll know what I'm talking about because you do a similar sort of thing with a Kennedy to make sure you haven't got liquid down in those uh, airflow channels. But it has to be mentioned that if you do over drip it and you're not paying attention and you kind of tip it a little bit on the side, I have had it piss juice out all over my fucking mod just a couple of times. Only other thing I'll mention is you can't change that insert once you've got a build in there. You've obviously got those fins coming up so it's not possible to get that out without pulling your coil out. Uh, beforehand. Not a big deal, but something I will say. But apart from that, there's really not a whole lot to complain about here. I think uh, what uh, Jack has done is create a really nice, flavoursome fucking single coiler. Uh, it's nice to see another RDA and nice to see another single coil that's not uh, designed for mouth to lung or really low wattages. This thing can definitely be used with a, a, a 0.2 to a 0.15 ohm build, get some nice clouds, but also get some great fucking flavour. Oh, and the airflow isn't super smooth. Even with that grated insert in the middle, uh, you do have a little bit more of a sort of rough sounding airflow. Depending on what cap you're using, I think it's maybe a little bit more obvious with the glass, but not a huge deal. Again, just not the smoothest sounding, but it's certainly not turbulent. Uh, in its airflow. So what are the little mongrels going to set you back? Well, not a whole lot. You're looking at $28.95 US, I think is what I saw on a few sites out there. So $29, pretty bloody affordable when you compare it to uh, the rest of the market, especially when you get two different top caps, glass and stainless. So uh, yeah, I'm not complaining about the price. Nice one there, damn vape. So fucking cheers for tuning in, dickheads. I'll put the usual Instagram and Facebook links down in the description if you want to check out what I get up to outside of the YouTube videos. If you want to support my channel, please do hit the like, hit the subscribe button. They always help me out. But if you really want to keep me doing these videos, then hit some of my support links. As I say every video, this is not a paid review channel. I don't do any sort of transactions when I do a video. There's no sneaky jumping the queue fees or any crap like that. I want to make sure you're getting a truly unbiased opinion on these products, but to keep doing that, a bit of public support is how I pay the bills. So hit my Patreon page, there's special content and vlogs on there each week, as well as a little community we have via the Facebook group and Zoom rooms, and all the extra gear that I get, I pass on to the Patreons at the end of the month. I've got a spare mongrel that will be going off to a some lucky cunt at the end of January, and their support keeps me doing my thing. But if you can't, that's all good. Sit back, sub on your fucking dicks off, all your bloody tits off. I don't give a shit what it is you're vaping on, whether it's single coil, dual coil, glass or stainless steel, as long as you're not banging the bloody bungers. That's all that matters. Cheers for tuning in. Cheery fucking oh. Hope you all
still doing top. Ra da 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 da. <clears throat> g'day, get off, get out, get out, you bloody dickheads. G'day, you bloody dickheads. Fucking cunt. <clears throat> <clears throat> <clears throat> Got another for another ridgy digi fuck. I did it again. Did it again. Gonna have a look. Gonna have a nook. Gonna have a nook. Another nook. Hope you're all doing f fucking Jesus. The opposite end of the spectrum we had la ra ra ra. Digi duh 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 duh. Hope you're all doing plat prat prat. <laughs> Gonna have a squiz at a new. A nude, new dad, new daddy, daddy. Ridiculous! How many times you fuck this up? <laughs> Hope you're all doing top bloody notch. Gonna have a sh. It's a statesman's got a persistent whistle. <laughs> and dank, dank vape. Fucking damn vape, you damn dipshit. <laughs> From Kevin Caracas. Hopefully I'm saying that right, Kevin. Have another crack at that last name. Caracas, Caracas, Kevin Caracas, Caracas, Caracaca. <laughs> so it is a twenty. Fucking, what is it, you dumb shit? Anti-leak functions, I think the barrage has. Fuck you, cunt.